What's going on guys? It is the Phantom Michael and today we're going to be talking about my part 2 video to the Pokemon that you guys need to be looking for when Gen 4 drops in Pokemon Go. Um, in the last episode we talked about 10, about 10 Pokemon to look for. I believe I have 11 more for you guys on this episode. So yeah, let's get right into it with the first Pokemon. Of course, the first one is Apom. Um, for me, I found quite a few Apom. I found, I see a lot less now. But it might be because of that little update they did where they increased the amount of Gen 1 Pokemon to be found. And, of course, the Psychic event. So that could explain why I'm not seeing as many Apom. But when Gen 2 dropped, or sorry, actually when Gen 3 dropped, I started seeing a ton of Apom. So I would assume this is going to be one of those 50 to 100 candy. Obviously, it's either going to be 50 or 100. Um, but I, I would probably see Ampipom as a 50 more than I would a 100. So make sure you guys start collecting your Apom candies. Um, it's going to be out there as soon as this little event passes. I'm sure the amount of Apoms that are going to be around are going to increase again. So yeah, just be on the lookout for some Apoms so you guys can get yourself an Ampipom. Um, I don't actually foresee this Ampipom being good in battle though, but uh, it'd be pretty cool to add to your decks. So yeah, let's hop on over to the next one. Uh, Lickitung to Licky Licky. Um, this Pokemon... I have a hard time finding Lickitung, honestly. I think I hatched one, I want to say. I could have sworn I did. If I didn't, huh, I'm pretty sure I did hatch one. But um, I'm going to have to walk around with this one. I know I've talked about quite a few Pokemon that you're going to have to walk around with just because they're harder to find. And Lickitung, for me anyway, is one of those Pokemon. I believe I only have like 10 candies. And that was one from an egg, I believe. And I caught one or two from one of the uh events that you guys can do a day so yeah licky licky is going to be one of those pokemon that i am going to have to walk around with so i can get lickitung to evolve so yeah be on the lookout for some lickitung um up next we of course have a magnemite magneton and then magneton to magnezone i don't even have a magneton right now uh magnemite for me has been really hard to find um i don't think we've had an electric type event or a steel type event but uh, I dang sure have not found a lot of Magnemite. I think I'm, what is it? I'm probably 10 or 15 candies away from a Magneton. Um, and I would assume Magnezone is going to be, a, obviously it's going to be 100. But uh, that is going to be a hard one for me too. Because I just don't find enough Magnemite. So I'm either going to have to trade possibly. Or I'm going to have to walk around with a magneton because uh let's just say i guarantee before gen 4 has, comes out i'll have a magneton but i i'm gonna have to walk around with it if i don't start finding a lot of magnemite so yeah all right the next one is miss drevis to miss magius um miss drevis you find a lot during the nighttime at least me personally i find her a lot at night before they did this little gen 1 um event that they did I, I was finding actually a lot of Miss Drevis. Uh, I don't think I quite have. I guarantee you this one's going to be a 50. Um, I don't have uh, the enough candy right now, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to hunt me down some more Miss Drevis before Gen 4 drops for sure. All right, and moving on. Up next, we have Magby, Magmarta, Magmortar. Again, you're probably going to have to have the Magma Riser, which is going to be another item that I'm assuming they're going to add to the game. Magby, of course, you can get from eggs. And I have probably found three or four Magmar the entire time Pokemon Go has been a thing. So I'm going to either have to walk around with a Magmar, hatch some Magbees, or I am... Actually, I think I hatched a Magby the other day, now that I think about it. I'm going to have to... Uh, Walk around with a Magmar, I guess, and hopefully find a Magmarizer. Um, I bet you Magmortar is going to be 100. Um, really cool Pokemon. I can actually see him be really good in gyms, just like Electivire. But it's going to be a little while before I have one, I believe. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Um, we have Badoo, Roselia, and Rosa Red. I've only found five or six Roselia ever since Gen 3 has been out. Um, of course, Badoo gets added to Generation 4, but we're going to talk about more Badoo in another Pokemon Go video I'm going to I'm gonna drop. But um, Rosa Red is going to be really cool. 
Um, I have a really good Roselia that I would love to evolve. I just need some more candy from her. Um, and again, I bet you after this little event gets done, um, I'm going to start seeing an increase in Roselia again. So I really hope that uh, I can get this ready. And I really want to find a shiny Roselia because shiny Roserade is awesome. So yeah. All right. Moving on to the next one. Oh, I actually don't see Rosa Red being that good in gems just because um, Bioplume is pretty good. Um, I don't really know a lot, of, a whole lot of grass types that are just really clutch for gems. Um, I just, I hope it, it's good. Like with a, probably a good poison type move, it might help a lot with some fairies. But other than that, I don't really see it doing too well. Um, up next, we have the Dust Skull to Dust Snoreline. Um, I have a Dusclops. I have, I've been hunting down a ton of Duskull because I know that they're easy to find for me at least. Um, in my area, there are tons of Duskull. So I have about 150 candies, which is going to be way more than enough to evolve Dusclops to Dusknor. Um, I just don't have a perfect Duskull yet. And that's really what I'm waiting for. So I can find that really good one. Um, but Dusknor is going to be really clutch. I could see it being like a Gengar. Um... And unfortunately for me, if you want to talk about ghost type Pokemon, I haven't found a good Gengar yet. So hopefully when October gets around here and we start seeing a fluctuation of ghost types, I'm going to be hunting me down a really good Duskull so I can get that awesome Dust Snore. So yeah, be on the lookout for your Duskulls. Up next, of course, we have Sneasel to Weavile. Um, I don't even think I have a single... Oh, that's a lie. I have one Sneasel. I have one Sneasel. haven't found another one. Um, you're going to need a item to evolve the, uh, Sneasel to Weavile. So what is it? The Razor Claw, Razor Fang, one of the two. Um, I'm sure it's going to be another item to be added. So yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to have to walk around with the Sneasel that I have if I want to evolve it. But like I said, I don't even have a good Sneasel, so I don't even know if I'm going to, you know, make this Pokemon a priority right now. Maybe I should just wait until I find a good Sneasel to do it. But yeah, so that's what's going to need to happen right there. Uh, up next, we have Snow Runt, which is, can evolve into either Glalie or Frostlass. And Frostlass is, of course, being added in Gen 4. The Dawn Snow would evolve Snow Runt, so I'm assuming this is going to be a nickname situation. Or actually, that's a lie, because only female Snow Runts can become Frostlasses. So I bet you it's going to be a female Snow Runt, and then you have to nickname it because... There can be female Galalies, if I'm not mistaken. So, that is probably what's going to have to happen because there are not going to be Dawnstones in the game. So, be sure to cl collect all your snow runs. And shiny snow runs looks really good. But I think I've only found six snow runs ever. So, hopefully, during the winter time, more will start showing up. Uh, speaking of ice type Pokemon, let's switch over to Swinub, Powell Swine, and Mammoth Swine. Um. It was a specific team or move that evolves Pal Swine to Mammoth Swine, so I don't foresee that being an issue. I what is it 50 for Pal Swine, so it's going to be 100 for Mammoth Swine, of course. Mammoth Swine is going to be a really cool Pokemon. I think it's going to be really, really clutch in game. Um, Ice type is just not good type in general, but who doesn't think Mammoth Swine is awesome? And I would love to do a raid battle with a giant mammoth, dude. That would be freaking clutch. So, be sure to hunt down as many Swinums as you can. Obviously, it's uh, fall time for me right now. So, um, hopefully Swinum comes back with the winter. And I guarantee you Gen 4 is probably going to drop probably spring of next year. So, after the whole Pokemon Let's Go gets gets done. So, let's uh, be sure to find out as many Pal Swine and Swinum as you can. I have found a few Pal Swine out there, so they're out there. So just collect as many as you can, man, and get ready for that Mammoth Swine, which everyone loves. Um, up next is Togepi, Togetic, and Togekiss. Um, now, this one, I have two Togepis. I have two Togepis. Uh, but you're going to have to walk around with them before you find yourself a Togetic, and a Togekiss is going to be really fun. So this is going to be one Pokemon, and you have, to, you have got to hatch a Togepi from an egg. They're not in the wild. So you're going to have to find yourself a Togepi, walk around with it a whole bunch to a Togetic, and then you're going to have to take your Togetic and walk around with it a whole bunch to get yourself a Togekiss. So I really hope this Togekiss is going to be clutch because it's going to take people forever, 
forever to get themselves one. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Um, there's a lot of Pokemon that you guys need to be on the hunt for. So just uh, be sure to watch these two videos. If you haven't seen part one, go back and watch it. Because it's going to tell you exactly what Pokemon that you guys need to be looking for. Um, I can't tell you if they're going to be going to battle or not. Uh, honestly, uh, the biggest BS I ever thought was uh, Swallop. You know, that little blue cloud bird. 400 candies to evolve it into an Altaria. An Artaria. 400 candies. 400 candies, dude. I, it, I took a, what was it? A maxed CP... Uh, swallow and it turned into like a 1700 something Altaria terrible terrible so I can't tell you if Pokemon are going to be good or not when they evolve but to complete your Pokedex these are the Pokemon you guys are going to be looking for I know which ones I'm hunting down tell me which ones you guys are hunting down if you guys want to be friends with Pokemon Go be sure to drop your friend code down below so yeah all right, you guys, I've been the Phantom Michael. I'm going to get the heck out of here. I will see you guys in the next one.